And then we come back to this verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and anointed you, appointed you to go and bear fruit. There are so many of you that are here today that have a wonderful testimony. It is how that Jesus has got your attention. How Jesus has got into your moment and caused you to know him to be real. And the reason you're in church is not the reason that many people are. Many people come to church because of friends. And thank God for friendship. But that's not the reason a chosen person comes to church, not the main reason. The main reason is that he chose you, you didn't choose him. He chose you, you didn't choose him. And because he chose you, it is your point in this hour to understand you've come a long ways. Many of you have come a long ways, but you'll never come far enough that you can separate yourself from an intimacy of Jesus. Once again, begin to let that connection be real to you. And don't just say, well, I haven't prayed much and I haven't read the Word, but I know the Word and God understands. Get back to Jesus. Get back to Jesus. How long can a branch stay rewarded if it's away from the... How long can the vine stay rewarded if it's away from the branch? Not long. Not long. Not long. But saints, I want to tell you, you got a testimony. And thank God for your testimony. What is your testimony is he touched me. He got a hold of my heart. He got a hold of my mind. He got a hold of my spirit. And remember, anybody that Jesus has touched, you can make it on your own as far as other people are concerned. You can go and not really have a relationship with Jesus, but maybe Sunday and maybe not always then. Why? Because God has equipped you in everything. And you can make it sometimes in business. You can make it in education. You can make it in relationships. But making it's not all that it is meant to be if you don't make it with Jesus. You gotta make it with Jesus. And one of the things you're gonna find in the church world is that if you're an honest person who doesn't compromise, somebody else is gonna come along and tap you on the shoulder and say, why don't you relax? You're just not having much fun. You, you, you just got overly involved in this thing. Listen, we're not that dedicated. We're not that committed. Listen, if Jesus tells you to quit something, you don't go back to it because somebody else told you they can get away with it. You make up your mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord. As for me, I make that choice. I'm going to serve the Lord. There are so many testimonies that are in this room that God has chosen you. And it may never be the ones that get applauded from the stage, but it better be applauded in your heart. It better be applauded in your heart. I want to tell you where the greatest faith is, is in the congregation. There is no greater faith than what is in some simple young person or older person who loves the Lord with all their heart, mind, and soul. I want to tell you there's love in the congregation sometimes greater than what the preacher has. I want to tell you in this hour, some of the greatest manifestations of God's mercy and grace is among people that are just little people in the mind of others. But he has touched you. And if it's real to you, thank God. If you got faith and you believe in him, thank God. If you know in this moment, I love you, Jesus. Jesus, thank God.